Hi, good afternoon Fair Oak. Um, we hope you had a really good week last week, that you enjoyed yourself, whether you were in school or were learning from home. Certainly it was a really quick week in school and um, we often think that if it's a, been a quick week that we've had lots of fun and we've really enjoyed ourselves. The highlight of last week probably was our Express Yourself Day in school where we encouraged children and grown-ups to um, dress in a way that express themselves uh, maybe a way that they felt most confident, they felt most at ease, and they made them feel good about themselves. I know over the next few weeks, your teachers will be organising Zoom calls um, that you've already taken part in, but thinking about um, Zoom calls where you can maybe bring your favourite book to the Zoom call. It might be a book that has been a long um, term favourite book of yours. It might be a book that you're reading currently at the moment that you're really enjoying. And it's a way of sharing our favourite books with other children um, to give them some ideas of, of things that they could read as well. So we hope that you'll be able to take part in this. One of my favourite books that I'd like to share with you at the moment um, was a book that oh, I was given as a Christmas present. Um, so it's not been a favourite book of mine for a long time, but it is a special book to me because it was given to me by somebody special as a Christmas present. Um, but also it's a book that I think at the moment really means a lot to people. My favourite book um, that I'm reading at the moment is this book, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by an author called Charlie Maxey. This book I think is um, a really special book to me at the moment because it actually describes the um, friendship and the companionship between the different characters in the book and I think at the moment with everything that we're going through at the moment and the uncertainty of everything that we're going through at the moment this book really makes me feel happy and gives me hope that things are actually going to get better. Everyone at the moment might be feeling a little bit worried about things, more worried or more anxious than they normally are. They might be worried about when things are going to go back to normal. They might be worried about when they're going to be able to come back to school and see their friends. It might be that you're worried about when you can give your granny and granddad a hug, for example, and making sure that you're keeping them safe. But what this book really does well is illustrates the fact that through companionship and friendship, um, and working together through things that actually we can actually feel a little bit less worried about things if we share those feelings with people. The book is based on conversations between the four characters, the boy, the fox, the mole and the horse. And the conversations are actually conversations that the author, Charlie Maxey, had with friends before he actually wrote the book. So they're all based on real life conversations that he had with his friends as he was maybe struggling to get through um, parts of life or worrying about things. And he found that through having these conversations with people, it would help him become stronger and help him be able to deal with some of the things that he had to deal with. The book reminds us about what's really important in life and that actually looking out for each other, helping each other, supporting each other and working together as a team are the way that we will get through things. I really hope you enjoy this book. I've found a short video um, that reads the book. It's got amazing animations in the voices. So I really hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I know that this book is something that I keep um, by my bed um, and that when I get into bed at night, um, sometimes this is what I reach for. And even if it's just to look at one of the pages, um, it, it really, really lifts me. And I really think it is a book that every household should have.